Hi everybody, it's Jeff, Jeff Owen. Uh, you might have seen on Facebook uh, quite a few of my before and after images, and you've probably noticed a lot of those are to do with Chatterley Whitfield. And the reason for that is I've got involved with Chatterley Whitfield Friends, and now I've got some great news is we're looking at doing a film and a book all about Chatterley Whitfield. Uh, for those who know it, you know that uh, at the moment it's uh, not open to the public, uh, only on special occasions throughout the year. And what we need to do is to try and regenerate the site. And if that doesn't work, which hopefully it will do, um, but what we need to do is capture all the memories and stories of people who actually work there. So this is what this film is going to be about. It's going to be about the history of Chatterley Whitfield from when it started to when it was a mine and it was actually a record-breaking colliery. Um, they were the first mine in the country that did a million tons of usable coal in one year. And that was the first time it had ever been done. So it was like the, the Rochester Ban Roger Bannister of coal mines. So a very important site this is. And it, it actually needs saving and regenerating for future generations to, to be part of it and enjoy it. And one of the first steps of that is we're going to make this film and the book. And one of the things we need is we need your help. Now, if you worked at Chatterley Whitfield, uh, there might be not many of you on social media, so we might need your help if you're watching this on Facebook to talk to everybody you know, whether it's friends, parents, grandparents, and try and find out people who worked at Chatterley Whitfield, whether it was underground, whether it was on the surface, whether they worked at the museum. And also, we look for people who live in the local area or lived in the local area. And we want your stories as well. I've just uh, had contact with somebody this morning, lived in Fegays, and whenever there was an accident, he heard the buzzers going off. So straight away, you can imagine the atmosphere when you hear that buzzer going off. If you've got friends and relatives who work down that colliery, hear that buzzer and straight away the community are around there trying to find out what's happened and we need those stories i'll say fun stories bad stories and however long you work down there please contact us and so we can get you either on the film or in the book and we need to leave a lasting legacy for all of the people who were actually killed down the pit and i've got personal uh, reference to that because my granddad was killed down the pit uh, he was 60 and a rock fall he was buried uh, they managed to get him out but he didn't survive and so I've lost family down there and people in the Stoke-on-Trent area you've probably know people who've uh, lost lives down there so we need to get these stories down now as quick as we can and get this film made and also it's a, a major project so if there's anybody who's got any connections anybody who thinks they can help uh, whether you're a musician whether you're a, a filmmaker uh, whether you, you can make good bacon butties you know co come and help us so what we've done we put a little website together it's not perfect we're not web designers so don't expect anything fantastic it's just a little website with a little bit more information of what we're aiming for and it's uh, if you can help in any way there is a form there's a page on there that says uh, you'd like to help just fill out your details on there then we can con connect we can contact you at a later date to give you more details we can keep you informed there's a little blog on there where we'll keep you updated daily weekly on the the progress of this project but we can't do it without your help also have you got any old photographs of the colliery of the area uh any film you know anybody had the old cine camera there if you've got a film that you can let us use 
And I say everybody who gets involved, if you're a business or a company, will make sure you go on the website, you'll be on the credits of the film and in the book. So you'll get a little bit of publicity from there. But as I said, we've got to start as soon as we can to get this thing going and feel, sh feel free to share this video if you're watching this on Facebook or social media, share it around uh, because obviously over the years people have moved out of the area and yesterday I got contacted by somebody, I actually live in Birmingham now and somebody uh, used to work at Chatterley Whitfield heard about what we're going to do, he contacted me yesterday, he lives two miles away from me in Birmingham and he's got some fantastic stories that he can tell so speak to everybody you know, pass the information out and uh, like I say, let's make Chatterley Whitfield, the film, the book, something that everybody will want. And it's an ideal thing for the schools to use so they can see that it was coal that made Great Britain great. You know, it's, uh, it's got a bad name these days, but in the past, that's all that was available, coal. And it changed, it was the Industrial Revolution and so I so said, we don't want that legacy to be forgotten. So if you can help in any way, go to the website. It's cw.ourdvd.co.uk. And I said, I'll put the link below and uh, I'll try and put it on this video somehow. So it's cw.ourdvd.co.uk. And I'd say go on to there, there's more information on there and there's a contact form. So if you think you can help in any way, please get in touch and uh, let's make this a good one. So I think uh, that's about it. It's nearly snapping time now, so light off and uh, thanks for watching and please get in touch. Okay, bye now.